What's up guys, welcome back to virtual reality, to the VR and AR weekly news. The list of news today is uh, pretty long. <laughs> we have some cool stuff like airport training in VR, everybody's golf on the PlayStation VR will be released, Orbus VR comes to the Oculus Quest, yeah that's right. Then we have Blood and Truth on the PlayStation VR, a feel real smell mask, very strange. <laughs> no Man's Sky first impressions, then Legend of Zelda and Super Mario come to VR, oh yeah. 3, 3D radar for PlayStation VR will be delayed a little bit. Um, Snapchat gets an AR function and Asynchronous Space Warp 2 for Oculus is released. So this is a lot of cool stuff, even more will I will show. And yeah, my name is Voodoo and I will show you gameplays, hardware tests, news and events on my channel. So subscribe and don't miss anything. So let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go. Voodoo.de So there are some PlayStation VR games upcoming in the next weeks. Um, two of them are Iron Man VR and Blood and Truth. I'm really looking forward to that. But there's also another game that is very interesting and this is called Everybody's Golf VR. And yeah, as the name says, it's a golf simulator. But wait, it's it's not a ultra realistic simulator, they said. This is um, more for fun. So if you are a big fan of hardcore realistic simulators, then this is perhaps nothing for you. You will play it with one move controller. So yeah, you will hold it like, like this <laughs> and then uh, shoot the golf ball. And yeah, perhaps this is not ultra realistic, but I'm looking forward to that. This is, I think this is really cool. So the first screenshots and gameplays are looking very good. So there is an absolute cool VR training simulations by Tango Interactive. And they produce, for example, um, airport training simulators and they look so cool. We, we can check it out in, in the video here. Look, look at the graphics, look at the detail, look at everything. <clears throat> it's, it's so real. And yeah, you, you can... Seven, Do some seven. Um, Are you ready for tasks here, connection? for example, using the, Your the um, is confirmed to headphones to communicate with the pilot or with the other crew. And um, yeah, you can remove this, put it on, on the plane. It's, it's so cool. This is, it it's, looks like it's actually, it's real. You can even... Wow, <laughs> it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, cool. And you can also um, do some mistakes, of course, and look what, what then happens. <laughs> so cool. So there are not only um, tasks and you have to complete step by step, you can also do mistakes and also the mistakes are simulated accurately in, in VR. There's also a train simulator and stuff. So, wow, this is so awesome. I, I love this. And yeah, the company is also um, in Germany. So if they uh, watch this now, I would really like to get this software and show it to my community because I love this kind of VR stuff. Um, so as you can see, there's not only gaming in VR, so there are also simulators and wow, well, I, wa I want to try all of this uh, stuff from, from Tango Interactive, <laughs> would be awesome. So there's a software coming from Germany and it's called um, Box Plan from Salt and Pepper. And this software is for optimizing production processes in factories. So for example, if you, if you work there uh, in a car factory and the, you know how that looks, the cars are sliding to, the, to one side very slow and you have to do some stuff there. Um, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, attaching tires or, or whatever. And this software is for optimizing these processes and yeah, for, for example, if a employee stands on this place and have to 
grab a tire from the left side and attach it in front of you. So the, the software will optimize the exact place where the shelf of the tires will be. So this is really about seconds. You can um, place the, the shelf of the, of the tires like a few centimeters um, to the left or right. So this is perfectly optimized so that you will even um, save some seconds so everything is perfectly optimized and yeah <laughs> they they did it uh, sooner they did it with some cardboard stuff but this is of course uh, a lot of uh, work and in VR you can just place it wherever you want and then create the real production place so very cool I, I love this stuff and yeah this, the, the coolest thing is that we as gamers don't even know much about this, but in many companies VR is just a normal stuff. <laughs> Very cool. So the next news, should, you should be a little bit careful because they were released on April 1st. So there is a little chance that this is only a joke by Valve, but I think this is real. So the user varia 64 did find it somewhere in, in, in any Steam database or whatever. And yeah, this is how it looks, the, the shop page. Of course, there are some Latin stuff. This is only placeholder and so. And the, the interesting thing is here, you can, you can see the ship date. It's June 15th, 2019. So yeah, this is the date when we perhaps or get it or they will send it to us. We will see. And yeah, we can also see here controllers, base stations um, required. So obviously there is this package of, the, of that shop site page here is not um, with controllers included and also with base station. So, but Gabe Newell the, um, said that uh, the Valve Index will be available in, in some different versions, packages. So only the headset, only the controllers, only the base stations, or perhaps the, the complete package. We will see. This is very interesting. Here are some more stuff that is, of course, it could be that this is only placeholder stuff, but it says display port 1.2 and USB 3 and two face gaskets, so narrow and wide. This is interesting and this is how it looks. So we can see the integrated earphones. They are not over your, all, over your complete ear, so they are just touching your ear like with the Oculus Rift. And for me, this is pretty cool, but other people don't want to hear their environment. So this could be a problem. Um, here, we'll see, uh, here we have a little button and here we will see the, a little bit the IPD slider. We also see the tracking dots here. And here is a little space that the rumors say there will be a leap motion module available that you can insert. Why not? But uh, the leap motion module is only for um, finger tracking. So this could also be available with these cameras. We will see. Here we have a little wheel. I don't know what's that for, perhaps for the distance between lenses and eyes or volume or whatever. We can see that we can adjust the um, headphones like with the Oculus Rift. Of course, here's the cable. This is, of course, not wireless. And here's the next page for the Valve Index controllers. So they are now called Valve Index controllers. They were um, known as Knuckles. Now they have the name Valve Index controllers. They come with USB charging cables and cleaning cloth. So yeah, also in June. So they will definitely be released at the same date as the headset. Yeah, um, if you are a little bit patient, then you could perhaps wait until I get this headset and test it for you. Of course, I will pre-order this as soon as possible and then do a full review of that so you know what to expect. I'm really curious about that. I'm looking forward to that, but <laughs> try to not overhype the, the hype train. This, perhaps this is better so we don't get disappointed like with the Rift S again. This is my small advice. So as I reported in some of the last uh, weekly news, Obus VR gets um, additional content. It's called Reborn. Also the graphics 
is better and stuff. But this is not the best of this news. The best is that Orbis VR Reborn will come for Oculus Quest and this is great. This is amazing. This will get so many people into this game because the, the Quest is a standalone headset. You don't need any PC, console or, or, or smartphone. Just put it on your head, click the power button and then you are in. <laughs> and the best of all of this is that it is cross-platform. So if your friend has a Quest and you have a Pimax or Vive or Rift, then you can play together with them. This is perfect. <laughs> this is perfect. Um, yeah, the Reborn update will launch in April 23rd, but the Quest update will launch later because the Quest will perhaps um, be released later. So I think the, the rumors that it will be on uh, F8 conference at April 30 will be true. <laughs> we will see. However, I will pre-order that uh, as soon as possible and then I will show you even more gameplay on the Oculus Quest. Um, as you perhaps saw, I have uh, reviewed the Oculus Quest pretty detailed so you can find it on my channel. This um, is interesting. Yeah, and I will, of course, play Orbus VR for you on the Quest as well. So guys, you want a total immersion? Then check this out. <laughs> this is a smell mask for VR. <laughs> yeah, I reported about this uh, some months earlier, but now you can finally um, Go to Kickstarter uh, and on Tuesday, I think, uh, Tuesday, April 9th, 2019, and then you can uh, pre-order that finally. And yeah, if you do that via Kickstarter, you, you save uh, 100 bucks. So normally this will be 2.99, and with Kickstarter, it will be 1.99 with 10 uh, basic cents. Um, yeah, <laughs> check out this picture here. <clears throat> So these are the modules that will be inserted into the mask. And yeah, I, I wonder how long they will last. So when, when we play like uh, four hours or what, are they empty or, or what? How does that work? This is uh, most important for me. <clears throat> and you can buy like 255 different smells. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, then when, when you go to a game, perhaps the game says, oh, you need this smell, this smell, this smell. You have to put it in, into this uh, little thing here, then insert it to the mask. And uh, yeah, I, I have no idea um, how much work that is to change the stuff. And, and then you, your whole finger smell like this uh, stuff because <laughs> you did something wrong or what. I don't know. However, here's the web page. And as you can see, we have a different types of the mask and this is pretty annoying because when I want to buy it for the PlayStation VR, I also want to put it under my Vive, my my Rift or my Pimax and this this is this is bad. So if I have three different VR headsets I have to buy three different masks or what? That's bad. Um, however the Pimax will get uh, its own smell mask later. We noticed from the Pimax Kickstarter. However, let's let's check out the <laughs> let's check out the the mask for the PlayStation VR. So this guy looks actually like a like a stormtrooper. Oh no, wait, that's for the go. But it also looks like a stormtrooper. The same as with the PlayStation VR. <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, okay, guys, I, I definitely will uh, buy this for you and um, review it. Also, uh, what's when the, the little things are empty, how can I uh, reorder that? How, how much is that and stuff? I will try all of that for you. Um, yeah, that's it. So uh, the immersion is even getting higher and higher. <laughs> yeah, guys, it seems like a No Man's Sky VR is even better than we expect. So uh, some press guys had the chance to play this in New York and they said this is really amazing. It's better than we expect. So when, when they land on the planet, you have this tracked uh, hands in front of you. Also, you can use the land creation tool like this, uh, point it and yeah, just use it. The controls are a little bit clunky for now, but they said they will fix that as soon as possible. The menu or the inventory is managed by a 
yeah, a window that pops up in front of you and then you can aim with a, with a laser pointer and uh, select items. I think this is a good solution. So when we think about the, the menus in Orbis VR where you have to click on the things and that doesn't uh, always work. So this is a good idea. Um, also, you can um, go into a spaceship by pointing at it and pulling it to you and then you uh, you are inside the cockpit and the controls of the spaceships are amazing they say so the then you use the all of the buttons and levers and stuff uh, so that you can uh, yeah glide through the space awesome <laughs> and yeah what what you can also do is when you when you already have the game and you played like 100 hours you can jump into your original safe game in the VR version so there's no need to play from the beginning and yeah, Steam VR is supported. They, they played with Steam VR. Also, it will be on, on PlayStation VR. They are not sure if that's on the Windows Mixed Reality support, but I, I think so. There, there should be no problem. And it will also work with the Pimax, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> what, what you can also do is when your friends have the game and don't have a VR headset, you can play with them. So... Um, they don't need a VR headset, it's, it's cross-play, no, no problems. And I'm really looking forward to that game. You can bet that I will try it at release or even earlier if possible, because I already own this game and it's, it's amazing. I, I love this game. So time for some statistics, only short, I promise. <laughs> so as Microsoft said, the Windows Mixed Reality headsets don't work, uh, don't sell as, um, expected so they are not uh, amused about it and will only continue to do some AR stuff and yeah but <laughs> as we can see now in the new Steam VR statistics the Windows Mixed Reality headsets have a spread of over 10% now and this is a number you can work with so at the beginning it was like 2 or 3% and now it's even over 10% and this is cool because the, the Windows Mixed Reality headsets are really good even for beginners. Sometimes you get you can get, for example, the Lenovo Explorer for under 200 bucks. And uh, yeah, they, they can be used as a standard VR headset. They have full room tracking and stuff and this is really good. So for beginners, this is great. The Vive platform has 39% and the Rift platform 47%. So the, the gap between these both are even getting bigger <laughs> um yeah i think that's that's a great idea do you own a windows mixed reality headset and if yes which one and do you like it please write it under the comments i'm interested about that so legend of zelda and mario odyssey will get vr support that seems so awesome but before jumping on the hype train again uh <laughs> I will tell you what this is about. So you can definitely not expect anything like a PlayStation VR or with the PC as this is only a, a cardboard, a, a cheap cardboard where you put the switch in and then you hold it against your head. And this is the first thing I wonder about. Uh, how the hell can I play this game when I have to hold the cardboard against my head all the time? So I, I have only one hand free and how can I use the controller then? I, I don't understand that. Is there uh, something, there's nothing known about a head strap that you can mount it on your head, but I think there will be one. So otherwise you cannot play this. So um, the full game will be playable in VR without the cutscenes because they use, because of the camera movement, they will cause motion sickness. So they just cut that out and um, the game will be in third person perspective and the display will have 720p so this will not look very good. Also we don't have full room scale so we can't uh, do like this and watch around corners, this doesn't work. Um, the game will be released with a VR support on April 25th. Um, I will get the label VR kit and try this for you but don't expect too much guys. Don't expect too much. So do you want a uh, control by your feet for the PlayStation VR then you could check out the 3D rudder and yeah, this is uh, this device here you can put your feet on it and 
move like this uh, and, and like this and you can control some games with that. So that will be released on June 17th, 2019 for 119 bucks. And yeah, um, there are some games supported at release, Bow to Blood, Sorrento, Red Matter. You can find the list here. Um, I have the, the 3D runner for PC and to be very honest, I never, I hate this thing. <laughs> it was so bad. I had such a bad experience. Not even one of all these games worked. So please be careful with that. Um, they said the PlayStation VR version will be much better. So I hope this is true. Perhaps they will send me one for the PlayStation VR that I can try it there, but I don't think they will send it because I made a bad review about that. Uh, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, yeah, so I be as I said, be careful when you order that. Perhaps you should better wait for some reviews about that before buying this 3D router for the PlayStation VR. So Snapchat gets a uh, AR function that's called scan and you can do really funny things with that so you can <laughs> you can change the flat iron building into a pizza or or the make the white house um, or the capital spreading like uh, rainbow stuff or <laughs> this is really cool and the best thing about this is that the platform um, can be filled with user content. So if I live in a small town or there's a small statue and I can do funny things with that and and upload this so-called lens to the platform and other people can use it then. And this is pretty cool. So the scan function will be launched soon for Snapchat. So as you perhaps noticed, um, the mod support of Beat Saber doesn't really work anymore uh, or, or at least the Mod Saber installer is not there anymore. So uh, people don't know why exactly they put that offline. There, there are some rumors that they, that they have some licensing problems or what, but uh, I don't think so. They, they said they just moved to another platform and uh, I hope this is true and perhaps there is a chance that that there will be a uh, mod uh, support on the Quest and PlayStation VR. I don't think so, but let's have a little hope <laughs> at least. Um, so if you experience this problem and can't use the Mod Saber installer anymore, the, here this article of Road to VR, they have uh, some links here, how you can um, nevertheless install the mods, even if the Mod Saber installer is not available. This is, uh, of course, a little bit... Uh, uh, it's not, let's say, it's not as, as easy as the installer, but it works. So if you want to use the mods, just go under the link and then you can do that. So finally, Asynchronous Space Warp 2 is released for Rift. And let me tell you about this. So the problem with ASV, ASW1 was uh, that there was a latency for, for the headset and also some artifacts that look like this picture here. And the new ASW2 has understand of depth. So it knows um, how far away an object is and can calculate that much better. So we have less latency and also, as you can see here, less artifacts. This is absolutely great for the visual quality and also for, yeah, for the for the latency. Um, let me explain you for the guys that have no idea what asynchronous space warp is. So if you have a, um, a graphics card that is not powerful enough to reach the maximum frames per second that is needed for VR, Ex for example, for the Rift, this is 90 frames per second. So if you only achieve like 70 frames per second, then the ASW kicks in and reduces the frames per second to 45 frames per second. So this is the half of 90 and then it fakes every second picture so that you can, so that the graphics card has not to calculate every second frame. So it's just faked and then you get 90 uh, frames per second again, finally. So this is a smooth experience then. And yeah, this so you can use the Rift with much um, lower graphics card. This is really good. And yeah, 
there is only one problem. So all of these techniques uh, earlier didn't have uh, to be updated by the developers. So with ASW2, the developers need to update every single app. And this is, yeah, <laughs> this is of course not as good. However, uh, the, new, the games that are developed from now on with Unity and Unreal Engine will automatically, automatically implement this. All games that were released earlier with an older version of Unity and Unreal Engine, the developers will have to update their app. I really hope they will do that as this is a really advantage uh, for the Rift now. Much smoother experience for people that don't have a high-end PC. This will not be available for the Oculus Quest as the Quest is not really capable of doing all these calculations. So, seems that Ubisoft listened to us and now Space Junkies will get move controller support, smooth turning and matches with more than four players. Wow, thanks Ubisoft. <laughs> this is really cool. So, um, the update will be released later this year. They don't know, the, or we don't know the exact date. There's some rumors that there will be an update in the mid of this month, but this is not confirmed. But however, this will make Space Junkies even better. I really love this game, even with the, with the DualShock controller, but with the uh, aim control, uh, with the move controller support, it of course will be even get better. Um, yeah, I, would, I think I would try that for you as soon as, as it's out. And then we can even play as good as on a PC where we already have all of that cool stuff. As always, at uh, the end, I would thank my new patrons, Desmond, Mambo and DJ Red that are new uh, patrons. As you can see, the, the amount has a little bit uh, lowered because some people um, um, ended the patron uh, because they say they don't have enough money for now but yeah th this is how it works they people jumping in people jumping off <laughs> that's normal however we achieved half of our goal finally and this is cool so i can even do more videos more english videos and of course more um travels there will be a cool travel later this year i will tell you as soon as possible but, but uh, wait a little bit <laughs> so thanks for watching guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to support me so that i can do more cool stuff you could do this via patreon and then you get some exclusive behind the scenes for now they are in german but i will do as soon as i got time another patreon account in english uh, so then you can experience all of that stuff in English as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time in virtual reality guys. See ya!